May mga issues or concerns pa kayo gamit ang inyong GCash app? We can submit a ticket using our GCash app. Actually, pwede rin itong gamitin or gawin using a browser pero ngayon, I'll show you how using the app. Okay? So, let's open the app para makapag-submit tayo ng ticket and... Okay, pwede pa. Let's use our biometrics. And para makapag-submit ng ticket, okay, uh, skip natin muna to. Let's go to the help center. Etong nasa taas. Okay, upper right, click natin yung help. And as you can see, may mga popular topics na dito sa help center natin na mas madali ninyong ma-access. So, um, dito may mga step-by-step -step guide na paano ito troubleshoot yung mga issues ninyo. Like for example, Gcash app issues. Uh, try natin i-open to. Troubleshoot login or Gcash app issues. So, meron ng mga step-by-step -step guide kung paano yung gagawin. And for example, uh, nagawa niya na lahat dun sa mga suggested step-by-step -step actions. Pero, andun pa din yung issues or yung problems sa Gcash app ninyo. Then, pwede na kayong mag-submit ng ticket. Okay, para mas specific na mailalagay ninyo yung concern ninyo. Scroll lang natin pa baba. Medyo madami yan. Scroll natin pa baba. Hanapin natin yung need more help. Okay? Pag nakita na ninyo itong need more help, dito na kayo pwedeng mag-submit ng ticket. So, in-scroll lang natin pa baba kanina and then nakita natin to. And nakalagay dito na, still having problems in Gcash, then click here to ask for help. Okay, and submit ticket. So, as you can see, meron yung email address. Naka-autofill na siya. And then, yung name ninyo, country, mobile number, na-register to Gcash, naka-autofill na. And then, select which statement is most relevant to your case. So, sinelect natin kanina yung Gcash app issues natin. So, eto yung mga relevant case na related doon. Pwede tayong mag-select dito yung pinakamalapit sa case natin. Okay, at try nating select yung I saw an error, something went wrong. Ito madalas to na experience, di ba? So, for example, yan yung ating case. Sinelect na natin and then yung account type. Select lang natin yung regular. And then yung brand ng model or device, for example, Samsung. And then yung operating system, Android. Um, hindi ako sure sa operating system ko, but let's try Android 11. Date encountered is optional. Kung may error codes, kayong na-receive, pwede nyo rin ilagay dyan. And then, kindly provide all the details that will help us assist your concern. Lagay natin yung something went wrong. Always pop up. This is just an example. Again, and then, uh, for example, nalagay na natin yan. Uh, pwede rin tayong mag-attach ng mga screenshots or files related sa concern natin. Pero in this case, i-check na lang muna natin to. Uh, don't forget to check itong dalawa. Kasi bago tayo makapag-submit, kailangan i-check yan. And then, other attachments. Na related on any screenshots or any uh, proof ng concerns or issues na na-experience ninyo. And then, hit submit. Okay, so nakalagay na dito, we've received your request. Thank you for reaching out. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. For easier reference, para mas madali nating makita, makita ko sa inyo, i-back natin. Ngayon, balikan natin dito sa my help. And then, scroll natin pababa. And makikita na natin dito yung ating ticket, your tickets. And view all. Pero in our case, ito yung ating ticket. And click natin yung more information. Ito yung lumabas na issue kanina. Ito yung sinan natin na ticket. Something went wrong, always pop up. Okay, so yan na yung status ng ating ticket. And the status is still open. So hindi pa nakaklose yung ticket na yan. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa nare-resolve. Since kakasabi pa lang din natin, okay? And i-back na natin. Um, actually, meron pang isang way bukod sa pagsasubmit ng ticket. For issues and other concerns, we can also chat GG dito rin sa help center. So click natin yung chat with GG. Example, I want to check the status of my ticket. Ticket status. Status. Meron ding mga suggestions. Okay? Send natin yan. 
happy to check the status of your concern and then click the show form and then ilalagay lang natin yung registered mobile number natin saka yung email natin and then isisend na natin okay? pero hindi na tayo magpaproceed dyan since nakapagsend naman na tayo ng ticket kanina this is for demo purposes only okay yan yung mga ways kung paano tayo mag raise sa mga issues or concerns sa ating GCash for more negosyo tips, success and money hacks, mag-subscribe na sa ating channel. At kung may topic kayo na nais i-feature sa mga susunod na videos, ilagay lamang ninyo sa ating comment section. Halina at sabay-sabay tayong umunlad. Thanks for watching!